All right, we're going to the Wajimaya, which is a Japanese grocery store. It's our favorite grocery store in Seattle. This is where we go to get all of our ingredients to cook our Asian dishes. What's that? This is a dried fruit. Guess what it oh, is? Oh, persimmons? Yeah, how do yeah. you know? Because I know. We're gonna stock up. I'll tell you so this. Cold. This whole cart is gonna be full by the oh, end of this. Yeah, oh, you wanna go look at them? Let's go look at them. Uh, this is the first time I've come here with the girls in a long time. Ooh! This is called the Kiwano. I've never seen this before. Kiwano? That's cool. Oh, durian! <gasps> Can we get it? Can we get it? This is smelly. No, I don't really want this stinky girl. Not that that's a bad thing. Look at this one. These oh papaya, giant papaya. Yeah, you girl girls, if there's something you want to try, go ahead. Uh dragon fruit. We just bought this recently. A honey dragon fruit. Oh, this is the first one. Okay, so this is one of our favorites in Hawaii, but it doesn't look that good, honestly. Maybe just because it traveled and jackfruit was one of the foods that connected me and what Mama together. Because one, she would always request it because she would make, uh, what's that one? Like Hollow Hollow? Not Hollow Hollow. No, it's that one. Um, oh, the warm one? Yeah, Babinka? Not Babinka. What's it called? That's a whole different dish. Oh my gosh, tell me in the comments what I'm thinking of. It's, it's an oh, I know what it is. Not hollow it's hollow. The thing with the mochi. With the mochi. With the jackfruit. Uh, 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 okay, I, I can't think of it. it. Put it in the comments. Okay, anyways. Mama that. would request no, it to make that. Before she passed away, that was the last dish she made. Really? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. I remember before she left the cooking, she made it. Oh yeah, no, we love that. Yeah. No? That was way before well, we maybe just had for, Lugia. Maybe for Kira. Oh yeah, we did have Lugia. But uh, Mama would request jackfruit, so I would go out to the farmer's market, get a big jackfruit, and then she would, uh, one, let us sit in the cupboard and make it kind of stinky. And then she would, uh, she would get oil Jack, and she would get the jack. Yeah, it is. It, it kind of like durian a little bit. It releases some kind of uh, gas. But and then, good. And then one, good. I would eat it fresh and that jackfruit. If you ever get a chance to eat jackfruit, do it. It's a little bit of work, but then we would put it in that dish. I can't think of it. As it's gonna drive me knows crazy. Knows. Well, the, hey, the viewers are gonna definitely know him. All right, anyway, so. Bilo, Bilo, Bilo. Okay, good, good. Good memory. We gotta make that one of these days. Okay, this is another fruit that we bought a lot of in Hawaii. Star fruit. It's actually really cheap. It's probably not cheap here. It grows like a weed in Hawaii. They asked for lychee and pomegranate. You can get pomegranate really at any grocery store. Um, we skipped right to the snack. So this, uh, what is it? Lychee jelly. Lychee jelly. Oh yeah, and then That's this. Mia. This is Mia's request right here. Little candies that you can make. What this did you guys mine. get? It's like my favorite, one of my favorite chocolates. Yeah, I told them they could get Menji. snacks because Menji's they were so favorite. good you can today. Make popping boba. Oh, okay. And then this That's one. Purets. I don't know what it is, but it's some kind of candy kit. Okay. Let's go. We're gonna do <laughs> sinigang, so I'm gonna oh, go wow. ahead and get an eggplant. This is Japanese eggplant. Some baby bok choy. Oh, these are like bigger. I only need two of these, I think. As I mentioned, great place to get mushrooms. Look at all these different mushrooms. These are the ones I like. That's gonna go right onto a pizza. And then we got these guys. Cute little mushrooms. Daikon, of course. You don't have to wash them. Okay. You don't have to wash them? No, because you don't, you, that's the skin. Okay, okay, good to know. Good to know. Like who would wash oranges? Another good thing about the Wajimaya, thinly sliced meat. For gyudon. Let's see, which one do I want? I think this is it. That's interesting how it's cut. Our right, Juliana just found this. Mama Dofu mix. Um, mommy makes this, but from scratch. Judy's is so good, you don't need to mix. She has all the sauces, huh? Oh yeah, this too. Szechuan sal. Spicy. It'll it'll numb your tongue. So for the sinigang, I love getting the meat that has the bones in it. So the pork spare ribs, and then you just cut in between the the bones. 
that's just gonna flavor your sinigang way more. So I'm seeing this for the first time. This is pork stew, which would be perfect for sinigang, but it says skin on. I don't know about that. When would you use pork with the skin still on? I don't know, let me know. This looks amazing. Kuro buta pork. This is the high-end stuff and this is the pork belly so we'll get we'll get a couple of these for sure all right if you guys like curry definitely get this it's called fuku jinsuke this is the good stuff okay this is a condiment we just can't live without i'm gonna get actually i'm gonna get three of these guys this is a pickled ginger that you put on the side of your curry That's dish. M -G -S. And it's a perfect pairing. M -G -S. Every single curry restaurant has it's this on the table. And uh, we haven't had it what in a couple that? months. You can only get this at Japanese or Asian grocery stores. Fuku jeans again. Of course, Japanese people and just Asian people in general love their seafood. And this is one of the only places that I know of where you can get really fresh seafood at a grocery He's store. Waving to you, Daddy. What? He's waving to you. Is he waving? Please. I'm okay. begging you. In Filipino cuisine, tilapia is really popular. In oh. fact, where Judy's family is from, I think they they fry this up and I ate it when I was in Balakila. Oh yeah, they do that. So you gotta watch out. I would stand back. You don't want that to get on you. All right, I'm gonna show you a childhood snack that you wouldn't think a kid would want to eat, but it's so good. Shirasu baby anchovies. This mixed with soy sauce on rice. Amazing, right here. I'm gonna have uh, I'm gonna have the girls try this. Girls, what is it? You're gonna eat this, okay? It's little uh, anchovy fishies that you mix with soy sauce. No, I am serious. You're gonna try it. Yes, I always said just one bite. You know the rules. The girls are kind of freaked out about eating this. No, because you're like, you know now you guys have to try it. Like, it's a bad Recent, thing. Recently, I'm gonna make the curious I've been curious about trying anchovies on pizza. I hear oh. it's a really good uh, topping. Yeah. You know what I mean? You've heard it I'll in movies before. <laughs> I know, right? Okay, uh, I, I just never really thought. I didn't even know that was an anchovy. That's the first time I've seen that word anchovy on it. It's usually just called shira soup. I might have to put what? that on pizza. I might put it on the pizza. Well, then we won't eat the pizza. Or well, you gotta try it. Oh, on pizza? I'm gonna totally try that on the pizza. pizza. So I'm not gonna... Hey, you know the rules. One bite, okay? Lemonade. So the girls want lemonade. I would love lemonade. Yeah. I was thinking we should just make our own. Seriously, why don't we make our own? Yeah, yeah. No, okay, I'll do it for you, okay? Would well, you want to get what? Ramen. Ramen egg? Okay, I didn't know that they had ramen eggs. Speaking of eggs though, our favorite eggs right here. The Japanese eggs. Japanese chickens. Yeah, I thought you said ramen eggs. Okay, if you know, you know. Gotta double check. Make sure they're not cracked. If there's one thing at a Japanese grocery store you should try, it's these eggs. The egg yolks are so orange. I know that there are some brands that do this already. This with rice, oh, it's the best. This, this is one thing I do miss about Japan. The A quality in Japan, it's out of sight. Japanese people have high standards for their eggs. It's weird that it's so different. The, the love for eggs. I mean, Americans eat lots of eggs, but quality just isn't there. That's why I like these eggs right here. Now this brand is our go-to. Most grocery stores have this these days, the ones that we go to. But this one, the Japanese chicken. All right, this is the first time the girls literally straight up left me. It kind of scares me because they feel comfortable and confident just to leave. I think they're just checking on more snacks. Gotta get some natto, fermented soybeans. I'm gonna get two packs of this because the girls have been eating a lot of this lately. Hey, where did you girls go? I thought you said ramen eggs, but that's what you guys want? All right. Ramen eggs. I mean, Alright, so recently Judy made some corned beef. This is the brand that Papa insisted on getting. It's from Australia. I guess this is the one. Go ahead, get get a couple. I know you and your sisters like that. See, there's like normal spam. Yeah. That's even normal, but and then there's all the rip -offs. Oh snap! I didn't know there was all these uh, rip offs. Okay, well I wouldn't call it rip offs. These rip -offs. are just competitor okay, look, brands. Argentina. Wait. Luncheon meat? Okay. Who, who, who puts spam in a 
Cheeseburger. Well, I don't know. I'm sure there's places that do that. Damn, 659. That's a lot. But this is a good meal. All right, so we need curry because we go through this stuff pretty quick. I like what to get we, the medium hot. What if we try to flavor there that is wasn't a, apple. There is a spicy version. Oh, we can try another one if you want. No, but no, I, I, I always have yeah. apple. No, I'm just putting that, that out the there. Apple one, the apple one. Yeah, this yeah, is this the apple, is apple one. one. What's the difference from that one and that? This one, this one's a little more spicy. It's got a little kick to it. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Recently, I found this instant already made rice at Costco, and my friend Chris told me they already had this. Now, uh, I didn't know it was so popular in America, but this is what I'm talking about. All these are pre made, pre cooked packets of rice. You can actually see there's rice already cooked in there. Pop it in the microwave, and it's good to go. It's pretty cool. My friend Shota, he owns a restaurant, a couple restaurants in Seattle. Check it out um, Taku. Capitol Hill. I asked him about this because I was so fascinated. He said it's just it's all about cleanliness. It's about no germs and it's shelf stable. In fact, there's a lot of foods if you think about it, canned goods that are shelf stable forever and it's about making sure there's no uh, what do you call it? Germ, which is so obvious. But he said it's the same thing with rice. They don't do anything special, I guess. Bacon and rice, we need it, but we need the big bag. For our family, we need the big bag. Girls, I need a bag that's probably as heavy as Kira. Yeah. Yeah. Because we go through a lot of rice. All right, you guys, remember all those moments I vlogged about fake QP? This is the real deal, okay? It's gotta look like this. What? The Why? other brand what that I see, especially at Costco, it's some Americanized version. It's probably the same company, but the recipe is different. It tastes different. The Japanese stuff, the one from Japan, right here. Get this. Can you put that down below, please? Thank you. All right, here we go. Always gotta get it. Probably gotta get two. How many kids we have? Japanese white yeah, bread. Really Girls, do you like this bread? Um, yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. that's for sure. Yeah, I mean, <gasps> what is that? I know, right? That's what I'm saying. Panda what a weird cup. find. So we always we buy always these see... brands: Wait, the what? Panda what? Puffs, <gasps> Koala Chris, oh, that's Japan, just weird. Japanese. Cheetah Oreo. Chomps. It's like yeah, a yeah, berry I one. Oreo. I, I thought that's that was Korean Oreo. That's Korean. No, I see. It says Post. I think it's still Korean. Oreo brand. Okay, it looks like Oreo. What is it? What has the world come to? No, Oreo? That's, that's probably Look, Korean. I don't Korean. think it, it's. I don't think it is Oreo. Tell me. It's just something different. Korean yeah. people. That's is this Oreo? Oh, I mean, two. or is this a copycat? Look, I've never yeah, seen this. Yeah, I've never what seen about that. this one? You want to try this one? No, no. I do not. Okay, really go ahead. Get panda favorites. puffs. Go get panda it, puffs. I've never seen this. I've never seen this. Weird. I've never seen I this. I would not have thought we would find this. Look, these are not Korean. They're watching my ass. Stop. Granola. So hold it. Granola. What? Juliana oh, likes granola. Like vanilla, oh. There's no vanilla granola. Hey, is this the brand that you usually get right here? Oh, Field day? Trader Joe's. Oh, the Trader Joe's, yeah. The vanilla, we can go to Trader Joe's. Not no, today, no. but yeah. another day. No. Okay. No. Can I go no. with you? Yeah, you can. This is the biggest like bag of Punko I've ever bought. Six fifty nine. I'll take it. The Where's the stickos? Is wearing oh, no. that was, let's find it. Let's find it. Okay, so recently I've been craving gyoza, so we're gonna get gyoza wrappers. Make gyoza. I'll do a video on this because this is one of the most delicious things Judy makes us. Well, we make it together. Okay, what did you find? I'm not, I, I, find? I literally don't want to look at it. Get out of the way. Dried anchovies? You guys want that? Is that what you guys want? No, 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 no. Okay. No. They're scared to try that little anchovy. For the gyoza, right here, the Berkshire pork, 100%. This is gonna be bomb for that gyoza. We get two of these. Gotta buy the big, big bag. This is the Asian way to do it. 50 pound bag. This is 100 bucks just for this bag, but it'll last us a while. And this is the, our favorite brand. And I'm telling you, it makes a difference when you buy high quality rice. Do you know how quickly we go through this bag of rice? I know. Like two days? Two weeks. No, not that fast. Maybe like two months. Uh, seriously? Like I just I just remembered that that like rice expands a lot.
here, I'll grab six cans of Vienna sausages. I told you we we're gonna fill up this whole cart. Whole cart full. A lot of stuff. I couldn't do this without you, girls. Like, I, Thank, like thanks for pushing the cart. Look at, it's look actually at, pretty heavy. Look at the receipt. I know, the, the receipt is pretty gnarly. Can you have some huh? Oh, I'll give okay, no, in the car. Let's not worry about eating right now. All right. So. We should do a haul after. No. A haul oh, yeah. Afterwards? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, loves we already haul. showed them what we got. Not All right, so. This like long receipt. Get ready for this total. $433. We stock up on all those ingredients we can't get near our house when we're here. I don't even The have last that. time I was here was a month ago, okay? Um, Do you want me to pay you back for this? No, it's oh. it's okay. Yay. But yeah, now there's just a lot of ingredients video, that we can't get that. in a normal okay, grocery true. store. The big expense was the rice. Yeah, that's a hundred dollar bag of rice. Really? But that's 50 pounds worth of rice. That's a lot of rice. Now that's probably one of the more expensive brands but it makes a difference. If you ever go to a, a nice sushi restaurant, that rice that they're using, mind blowing. That's the kind of rice that we usually buy. It, it makes the food taste better too. I love the wajimaya. Rice? If you're Asian, just in general, especially Japanese, but any type of Asian, going to a grocery store like that is very nostalgic. Cause they have a bunch of Filipino yeah, stuff that I feel like. And it's a reminder of home. Lumpia. And it's amazing how food does that for you. When I first moved to Washington and went there, when I came to Seattle, I remember I felt as if I was in Tokyo, going to a Japanese grocery store. I remember that as a child. Now they've remodeled it so it doesn't have that same feel, but the, the products are the same. I love coming here. I love that I can bring the girls and they're excited about it, obviously, because they love their snacks. Okay, time to go. Girls, did you have fun? Mm -hmm. I, I How's was, your snacks? So good. Oh, you're already eating your uh, lychee? They like don't even fill it to My the top snacks. though. 